salon thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, this <laughs> everybody, this is not a spring chick. And did you know that the NSA is like working in Hollywood? And you would be going, what? Well, you know, in Hollywood, you know, the celebrities get work done, but first of all, they can't tell you what they have done. They don't want you to know that they have did it and they can't tell you where they did it. Oh, wait a minute, that's kind of like the NSA because of course the NSA is working in your behalf and they've used information to acquire it, but well, we can't tell you, but we did it for the for national security. And it did help to do all these things, but we can't tell you what it did or how it helped or anything, but it's for your own good, right? It's for national security. Mm. It is kind of like Hollywood, isn't it? Well, for now, we're gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you see, uh, Lindsey Graham once again supporting the president. Unless you people fall in line, we're no longer going to exist as a party. Basically, this is the line he has been doing, you know, on everything but the IRS. If you don't fall in line, which means anything the president wants done, if you don't do it, you're not going to get elected to office. Well, I hate to tell people. Uh, okay, Kirby Daddy says, you generally don't vote for Republicans if you're a Democrat. Republicans don't vote for Democrats if they're Republicans. If you tell, if, okay, the Republicans, for God unknown reason, the last two elections have been looking for that, looking for those Democrats to come vote for them. Mm -hmm. Like now, they, they, they're discovering rapidly, oh, you know the young Hispanics who the majority of those people in the country are don't vote Republican, they're mm -hmm. not conservative, they're, they're socialist, they're going to vote for the Democrats, 11 million of them. Ah, and FBI relies on secret U.S. surveillance law records show. Yeah, which they're not supposed to be according to the rules. Okay, the guy that wrote the Patriot Act, I heard him say last night that under no circumstances was the Patriot Act meant to be used as they're using it currently. Mm. And Obama, NSA, secret data gathering, transparent. God, they were transparent today. Uh, we, have saw, we have kept 50 major things from happening around the country and the, and the world. We're not at liberty to wait, tell wait, wait, you. Wait, wait, breaking news, breaking news. Oh, okay. Monty Bubbles saves the world. Oh, I know. Herbie Daddy was he, Herbie Daddy was born in secrecy. It seems that Monty Bubbles, the chair dog, working in conjunction with the NSA, has done something magnificent to save our country from total destruction and to save the world. The only thing Monty is at liberty to say is it had something to do with with uh, with the information they're not supposed to be using, and and her lifting her leg. That's all we can tell you. Now, oh, every daddy said, no, I'll go back to regular news because you now know the information that the NSA has approved for you to hear. It can't be verified, of course, but you've heard us. They, the NSA said it, so therefore it must be true. Hmm. And Chrysler expected to formally refuse Jeep recall. Oh, uh, they, uh, okay, what happened is um, Chrysler actually... Oh, wait, wait, wait. A, Monty Bubbles? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Monty basically did something magnificent. We, we can't tell you what she did. Herbie Daddy knows. Herbie Daddy is like all those Republicans and, and that basically think, well, this is a good idea. I totally support the taking away of all of your rights because we're doing it for you. Hmm. And <laughs> I guess we better get back to news. Yeah. But boy, we but Herbie, always knew Monty no, but, Bubbles. Uh, 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 Her okay, he really is excited. Herbie Daddy. You know, that Monty helped make this world a better place. And if you contact the NSA, well, we can't verify that information. Mm -hmm. And Chrysler expected to formally refuse a Jeep recall. Oh, somebody this morning reminded Chrysler they that they're refuse. owned by the United States government. <laughs> yeah. They, they, I didn't know any manufacturer could refuse a uh, recall. They can't. On a, okay, they were, basically, they're a division of a, a big O, the Obama Mo Automobile, Automobile Division. And if a, they pissed off Obama, well, he wanted 2.7 million of those gas guzzling vehicles re, uh, brought back in because he wants people to stop buying them. Mm -hmm. So you basically say, well, they've got a problem. Uh, I hate to tell you this. If you drive a Jeep, you know about the problem. If you drive anything that goes a four uh, all-terrain vehicle, they have a problem. Well, when you go out driving your vehicle on all-terrain, there's a possibility you could have a problem with your gas tank. Yeah, that's that's a normal problem when you got an all-terrain vehicle, folks. Mm -hmm. And climate talk shifts from cutting CO2 to adapting. 
uh, because to they, have, they have decided you, CO2 is what people breathe out and Obama wants to charge you for being alive. That didn't go over well even among a lot. Okay, Democrats can't run on, let's see, you're going to have to pay a tax for breathing in Obama's world. Well. That, that sort of died real quick. <laughs> Fracking fuels water fights in nation's dry spots. Well, you know, that's, uh, it, it, it's just, it, it, it's, it's always been that way, folks. It's called, it's called history. And three arrested for rape of U.S. women in India. Yeah, basically. Here's another thing. Tourism, everybody says, don't go to India, don't go to Mexico, don't go to countries where they don't like Americans, especially where they don't like American women. Duh. Yeah, they don't. Okay, Muslims think that America, that women are, are were created to do whatever they want, and they don't like women that say no to them. No, a lot of them will beat the hell out of a woman that says no to them. Oh, they will. Yep, that's right. And Facebook pairs ad options and simplifies marketing tools. There's nothing simplified about Facebook. I mean, I st I stopped using it for a couple of months because it got ungodly complicated. I'm back using it now because it's for business purposes, but. I've seen an awful lot of people that I know that basically have dropped out because they said it's become too intrusive and too cumbersome to use. Mm -hmm. And Obama defends Syria policy and plays down NSA spying ruckus. Oh, I know. Basically, he, uh, he's in trouble. They said that his ratings have fell specifically over all the things. Okay, a lot of people said, well, if I'd have known he was doing that, I wouldn't have voted for him the second time. But why did you vote for him the first time? Well, because I thought that he'd be different. And then you voted for him the second time knowing he was exact. Okay, uh, Herbie Daddy says, Mark Twain says, you get exactly the, the politicians you elect. You don't get the ones you want. Mm -hmm. And Obama's job approval tumbles and America's split on spying. Okay. If you're Herbie Daddy's age, it's a good deal. If you're not Herbie Daddy's age, I don't want my parents. If I don't want my mom and dad knowing what I'm doing and what I'm doing, I don't want the government knowing where I'm at and what I'm doing. And is Edward Snowden hiding in the wrong country? Well, no, he's hiding in the right country in order to keep from going. And, uh, okay, uh, if anything happens to him in, in Hong Kong, they will hang this country. I mean, this guy... Uh, if anything, uh, I know that you got people like Lindsey Graham and, and Dick Cheney want him executed. If anything happens to this guy, Obama's up the creek. I mean, if I was Obama, I'd have the Secret Service protecting this guy 24 hours a day <laughs> because the Chinese might off him in order to blame Obama about it. He, Obama does not want this guy touched for any reason. Ooh. And tanks in Beirut, a Syria protest leaves one dead. Well, yeah, it's just, it's, okay, the war is lost. Obama, when he could have done something, didn't because basically Obama hadn't been told by the people in Iran to do anything yet, so. Mm. And explosions, gunfire heard around a Kabul International Airport. Oh, yeah, these, all these countries that Obama's pulling out to are falling. Here's a good one this morning. Oh, Herbie Daddy says it. The President of the United States is now going to talk to the Taliban, and the Taliban is going to swear that we're not going to be, we're not going to be helping Iqaeda anymore. Here's the, Herbie Daddy says, as a Jewish uh, hedgehog, he says, and when a Muslim lies to an infidel, it's not considered to be a lie. Mm -hmm. And Turkey's Erdogan warns patience with protests will run out. Well, it has run out because this clown is basically, it's supposed to be a democracy where they have a right to protest, so he sent the tax in. And, I mean, as I understand, this guy was actually firing bullets, in dum dum, you know, the rubber bullets into the crowd. That's what dictators do, folks. Ooh. A murder trial of Italian Marines in India navigates murky waters. Oh, yeah, that will never happen. They'll never, they will convict him and then he'll be released because it isn't murder. An accident, a sea accident is not murder, folks. Mm -hmm. It's an accident. And Nigeria Islamists had guns in coffin and killed 13 witnesses. Because that's what they do. And, they're not going, and as long as we have a Muslim for a president, and folks, he is a Muslim, you're never going to see a crackdown by his people anywhere in the world, unless it's the other tribe. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, Syria is the other tribe from what Obama is. Oh, and Chief says Santa Monica killings were premeditated. Well, we know that. We must have been 10 minutes ago, five or six minutes ago. No, it's about that time. No, <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism so. from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. <laughs> okay, that, okay, it's good that sometimes it actually pays to watch the clock because I know that was more than 10 minutes. <laughs>